Alright guys, so it's time for the weekly grind PSA. So let's go ahead and talk about the global and JP events and banners that are currently running, um, and some of the sales as well. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, global side, Warriors of Universe 6 Summon is currently available, and the event that runs until October 3rd, or 10-3. So you have a couple weeks left of that. Uh, both of these events are available. I would recommend at least doing one, doing one or two summons on it if you are not saving for the Gogeta banner or something else like the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. I know those are two key banners that everyone really wants to go for, but this does give you one featured SSR, and they're, it's not really that bad. Uh, in my opinion, at least for the banner cards off the top of my head, you have two Weeses, the new Kale, the new Khalifa. You have Piccolo and Beerus and Hit. So Hit isn't grindable at all or farmable. He has no SR variant, so any of him would be really good if you already have one of him. You could open up the top left do path and start filling in some of his super attack level. In terms of Beerus, if you don't have him or don't have any dupes of him, it'd be good to grab him. Plus, you have the SR variants that you can pull. That way, you can feed them into him and get him up to super attack 10 after you Z-Awaken them, obviously, for 50% chance. Um, so that's really good. And then the two Weeses are farmable, fully farmable with an SSR variant. So it's a guaranteed 50% unless you Z-Awaken the agility type to an ultra rare, then it's 100%. So honestly, you would want five of them, one for the base, then four for the dupe system um, of each, the tech and the intelligence. So it's kind of worth it there. And then you get all the new cards. I mean, the first off, the Piccolo. The Piccolo is fully farmable from the tech strike event. And he also has a lot of SR variants that, that drop during summon. So you could definitely get him up to super attack 10 without a problem. Um, and then there's the, the Kale, Khalifa, and Hit, like I said, are the guys who are not really farmable, but they're really worth it. Especially the Kale and Khalifa. Uh, Khalifa is a really good leader. She's like a mini um, version of the Massey and Bardock, who isn't available on the global side. And Kale is a miniature version of Broly. Still, like, really decent unit. I think, believe she does decent with uh, Broly on the team. Overall, not an amazing unit, but she does immense damage and an attack plus 100%. So, she's not horrible by any means. But anyway... That's for that. The event there to get some of these to get hit and Piccolo Dokken Waken is available, and you can get your Super Saiyan Kaba, who is free to play as well. Um, if you haven't gotten him already, I would recommend doing that. Uh, anyway, the next one we're going to talk about the Tech Banner, or I'm sorry, Super 17. Super 17 event and banner are available until 10 Tuesday, 10 3. Make sure you go ahead and summon on that if you already didn't do so. This has some really good uh, cards, guys. It is really worth pulling it. I already did a full uh, video on this. So go ahead and check that out if you already haven't done so. Super 17 is not a bad unit at all by any means. He's really good. He's a defender. He Once he gets attacked enough times, his, his attack is really good. He's pretty cool, and he's, he's not, he doesn't one-shot everyone, which I know a couple of you guys do not like when you one-shot everything. You want to actually have fun and play the game. Um, plus, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's on here. I don't know when he's coming back. I have no idea when he's coming back, guys. I know that on the JP side, he didn't come back for a very long time after this banner. So this is probably going to be one of the few times you can get him until maybe after Christmas. Um, so probably starting the new year of 2018 may be the next time you actually see him. Again, I don't have any official information. It's just an estimate based off of what happened on the JP side. Plus, you have Rosé, you have Super Vegito, and Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, if you haven't pulled them yet already. All of them, well, these two are really solid units. The Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I'm sorry, I said Angel Goku. Super Saiyan 3 Goku is a decent unit if you don't have all the optimal cards for a mono, intel, a mono agility team. Not a bad unit at all by any means, but, you know, he is pretty good. It's just really that, um, that, that, that restrictive on his pass. Plus, you have the two new cards that are over here, the, seven, the two 17s, Hellfire 17 and android 17 android 17 obviously is semi-farmable so that's cool health the fighter s 17 is semi-farmable only with the card that's currently available luckily the sr variants are available on the banner so wait you can feed them into him uh, plus they both will doken awaken and the sr variants doken awaken into super 17s by the way guys so that way you can raise the super attack of your super 17 if you haven't already done so i did a full in-depth analysis on that as well um, so go ahead check that out this is also the event right here you're seeing on the screen Tech Banner, guys, runs until Friday 9-22, so two more days left for the Tech Banner. If you guys are going for the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku team, this Tien is someone you're really going to want. He has that passive skill of key plus 3 for all tech types, and then attack and defense uh, plus 40% for all super tech types so a really really good unit uh the cell is the exact opposite it's tech type key plus three and then uh, attack and defense plus 40 percent for extreme tech types good for a bio broly team if you're looking to run that or if you're just running a mono uh, a mono uh, villain uh, you know mono tech team if you want to run uh, some villains on there as well 
But anyway, guys, that, that is a good banner. Plus, you get Elder Kai's times two. I did all the discount summons on there. At least do one on that. I would recommend just to get some Elder Kai's so that way you have them stocked up for the future. Um, at this point in the game, if you got if you took advantage of all the Elder Kai's that you can grab since the two-year anniversary, you're probably very well stocked. <laughs> Um, all right, then Heroes Legacy is running till 927, guys. So you have one more week to grind out that Goku Jr. Uh, I'm, I currently got my one Goku Jr. up to Super Saiyan 100% and everything. I'm working on getting my second one, base form, just grinding out like the uh, the additional Goku Juniors very slowly uh, to get him up to Super Tech 10, and then the uh, dupe has unlocked of him. From there, then I'll start slowly grinding out the orbs. Probably when he comes back, I'll start grinding out the orbs because he has a horrible drop rate. But make sure you do that. I, I def highly, highly recommend at least getting his one of them to Super Saiyan and 100% it just because he's really viable on a couple teams that he'll be needed for free-to-play characters. Uh, the Saiyan Warrior Race is the one you use to Doken Waken your um, your your, uh, your great apes. Make sure you go and grind that out. I know the, the drop rate's kind of crappy for some of us. Uh, some people went through, grinded it out a couple times, six times straight, and they got it uh, the drop every time. Uh, that is for Stage 10, the Moon Nappa. He kind of looks like Ghost Nappa. <laughs> but um, Stage 10 is what you're going to grind out if you already haven't done so. Remember, you also have like uh, the Gohan, the, the, the Nappa, and the Vegeta that you can grind from this event. OG players remember when this event originally came out. These were not the cards. Yeah, I think the designs were very similar, but these are not the actual cards that were used. So if you have those cards, though, the OG cards, guys, uh, for all of us OG players, you can actually still farm these and feed them into the OG cards. And then you can grind these out separately. Uh, you still can't run them on a the team because they're still the same type, but whatever, you know what I mean. Um, anyway, uh, Dragonstone style it runs until 10.01. I recommend taking advantage of it if you don't mind buying Dragonstones. They have some decent sales in there. It's, I think there's three uh, 91 discount packs on sale for $32.99, and there's one smaller for like $7.99 or something like that for 32 stones. And then you have the daily three stones that you could purchase. I don't do the three stones. I only do the five stones daily. In my opinion, that's the only time it's really kind of worth it. I mean, if you think about it, three stones a day, you do it for 30 days. That's 90 stones for 30 bucks. It is a discount, you know, but whatever. It, it is on sale, so take advantage of that if you want to. It only runs for another, well, a little bit over a week. You probably have a week and a half left for that. So you have some time to purchase those if you're waiting for a paycheck. Um, in terms of the character enhancement campaign, that's still running. We have another week next Friday. Uh, or next Thursday night is when it ends. So make sure, you know, you log in every day. You get your login bonuses for that. Uh, you have some really cool login prizes and whatnot. Um, for, uh, so essentially, I mean, er everything's cool. You just get a Dragonstone every day from it. It's really what you're re going to really look for, especially OG players. Some of you guys who are newer, you might take, get some advantage for some of these uh, items that you get on here. But uh, for most of us, it's just really just the Dragonstones we're looking for. <clears throat> and one thing that is brand new, Chapter 4 is coming soon. We're finally getting new story missions, guys. Um... This was just announced, uh, I think, yesterday, so or last night to, to this morning. So we are finally getting those Chapter Four um, the part in the uh, in the quest mode. So we will also be able to farm out Baba Quest gems now. So that will additional gems. Probably, I think there is a better stage in the new story missions that are currently coming out. So that's going to be awesome. When that comes out, I'll be doing a playthrough on that. Uh, beginner's pack the one i talked about i did a full video on which character you should choose to the short of it guys because it's a 17 minute video going very in depth on all these different cards uh <clears throat> if you don't want to watch the in-depth analysis i'll tell you right now this bardock is your number one choice your second choice is going to be this intelligence gohan those two are your number one and two choices bardock runs very well in a super saiyan 4 goku team he is a staple in that team for the foreseeable future, because his passive skill gets raised to attack plus 30% for strength types. The Intelligence Gohan is just a very hard hitter and does really good on his Mono Intelligence team as well for Super Gogeta. So both of these guys, whatever one you don't have, I would recommend going for that one. If you already have both, the, I mean, in terms of the damage output, you're probably going to want to give a dupe to Intelligence Gohan. But me, I personally did the Bardock just because Gohan is a farmable super attack. So I figured, you know, let's balance it out a little bit. Let me give Bardock a little bit extra because, well, Bardock is semi-farmable. Gohan has two farmable cards that drop for him. I believe it's the strength and the physical. Bardock only has one, and it's the agility one. So that's harder to come by. So that's why I gave him um, an extra dupe. But anyway, guys, that was just what my opinion on what I did. You don't need to do that. I just wanted to make it even across the board between the two of them. But make sure you do go ahead and take advantage of that. It's only 10 bucks, so... You know, if you guys don't mind purchasing stuff in-game, I highly recommend you do it. Even if you have both, it's kind of worth it. These three are all right. I don't recommend really going for them. Maybe the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, because, I mean, the Super Saiyan, yeah, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, because when he Doken Wake, he gives three to all allies when HP is 99% or below. So that's highly useful if you're a Keylax team, like on a mono super team, if you're running a double trunk sleeve, that would be really useful. 
And last but not least, if you guys don't know, the new training system has been implemented and it's awesome. Holy crap, I was able to get all my SRs um, like maxed out so I could Z awaken them and fed into their counterparts. It freed up so much space because I hate going through the damn uh, friend summons to do that crap. Anyway, um, I'm rambling on. I'm already at the 10 minute mark and I don't really like to do that. So let's just go ahead and shoot through the JP stuff right now. Rising Dragon Banner is available till 926 on the JP side. Strength Dokun Fest currently is available. It runs till 923. The Dokun Celebration, the thing that they're doing right now, I don't know the official name of it, runs until 1001. So you guys have another little bit of time for that. The SCR Dokun Fest runs in three days, by the way. Goku Jr. runs until 1018, so you have a lot of time left on that. Metacora should be running till 1012. Bio Broly and the Future Trunks events should be running till 106. And the world's strongest event, that's the uh, that's the Korra event, runs until 10-3, guys. So I'll keep this up on the screen just so that you can pause it if you want to write this down or whatever. Um, this is everything that's going on. We have some time. The only thing that's going to be ending very soon on the global side is going to be the Tech Banner on 922 and the Sane Warrior Race on 924. But uh, outside of those two, we have a little bit of time. You have about another week for almost every other event. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Uh, I'll be doing some more coverage tomorrow. I think I might be doing a gameplay video for tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today, and I'll catch you guys later.